A lot of cafes run in the city, but very few give the off the cozy feel. Pia Bonales checks out this quaint restaurant in Pasig City this morning. Good morning, Pia. Good morning, Claire. There's nothing like a big, hearty breakfast to start your day right. And when a favorite restaurant such as Cafe Juanita offer breakfast like what they do right here at Breakfast at Juanita, mornings seem to be a little bit brighter. With me is owner Dr. Efren Vasquez to tell me about their offerings. Good morning, Doc. It's not a little bit. It, is, it will be very bright oh, for yes. everybody. And definitely, especially in your restaurants where there always are all these chandeliers, which is first what I want to touch on because going into your restaurants, there's also always the interior that makes you feel so welcome. Paano niyo po design yung mga restaurant ninyo to? I think it's a gift that was uh, provided. No, I know how to arrange things, even how magulo they are. Yes. No, uh, yun ang nangyayari. And even on the food. I conceptualize, it might be a simple kangkong, but mm -hmm. I will produce a different kangkong. Yes. No? Uh, that will be different. The world needs the original. And definitely no? you could see that in your restaurants. And here at Breakfast at Juanita, I notice, of course, there's still that eclectic feel with all the chandeliers and the paintings, but it's more airy compared to the Cafe Juanita. Uh, yeah, it has to be different because this is breakfast. It is the opening of the day. So when you open the day, it has to be, uh, all the probabilities should be there. Mm -hmm. no? So this will be open from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. And for the late uh, uh, people who are going out, uh, I'm planning to open it at, from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Para they will have a good uh, after good a night after out. a night out yes. who would who wouldn't want all of this after a night out and then sleep with a <laughs> uh, satisfied tummy yes why not and if you could see right in front of us very hearty yung mga breakfast offerings here at cafe Juanita Wow okay there's a huge spread in front of me it's getting bigger and bigger by the minute first let's start with a clam with the clam chowder can you tell me about this dog served in bread a bowl of bread? Yes, uh, we bake the bread ourselves, no? And I picked this up from San Francisco because San Francisco is known for their plum chowder, mm, no? Okay. Uh, you should taste it. It's very good. It's very hearty. And uh, you eat the bread with the bit. soup. Oh, okay. But, sige, let's try a little bit of this soup. Is this one of your favorites, Doc? That's why you're serving it here in your restaurant? It is my favorite. Whenever I go to San Francisco, I uh, see to it that I go to this uh, restaurant. Uh, that is really, really good. Masarap po yung ano niya, the soup, even di, if... Di ba ang sarap? While eating it, you dip the bread or yes. you, you you take on a piece of bread and eat it with the soup. But even just the soup in itself, parang sakto po talaga yung flavor niya. You could taste the clam and then... Parang yung pagbaba niya sa tummy mo, it's very comforting po yung dating niya. That's really, really good. And then, of course, aside from the soup, we have this whole chicken right here. Ano po itong chicken na to, Doc? That is our, my version of uh, oven bake or inihaw na manok. Oh. No? And it is a partner, the liempo, inihaw na liempo. Mm. Wouldn't that be good with the... Uh, Fried rice. Oh yes, definitely. Or, or with paella rice. Actually, yeah. this is not paella. It's just paella rice. This no? one right here. Yes. Okay. Uh, I cook it not the uh, typical paella way because I would like it to go with all of these things. Ah, uh, so you don't have to wait 30 minutes or one day to order <laughs> the paella because we already have the rice prepared. That sounds so good. Actually, rice really always goes well with chicken, with bread, uh, with the pork. And looking at it, kaya pala this paella rice is more on the rice talaga. That's why the toppings are mas kaunti because uh -oh. you want to enjoy it really with, with the entrees. With the other food. Yeah. Yes. And then, of course, a favorite, meron din po kayong burger right here the, with a really thick patty. The burger, patty. yes. That is Wagyu. Oh. No? Uh, Wagyu beef. And we have a small version of that and a big version. You know Wagyu is a little pricey. Yes. No? I want it simple, clean taste. 
you have your uh, chips there and uh, the salad that go with it already. No, it is already a meal by itself. Yes. For a night cup, wouldn't be that be very nice. And uh, we have this. Uh, we make our own longanisa, okay. our own tapa and tocino. Because right no? here, of course, hindi naman mawawala sa breakfast ng Pinoy ang mga silog. So the tapa is really made here. We, we're, we're the ones who concocted it. I the one myself. Oh, wow. It. Okay. And no? of course, me, I'm a big fan of longanisa. And looks like there are two kinds of longanisa here. Uh, one is Ricardo and the other one is from my uh, province. Kabanatuan, oh. uh, which is the sweet type of longanisa. Okay, the sweeter type is the the, red one. the dark one. And the dark one. The okay. other one is recado. That's perfect. So I get to taste the longanisa from Kabanatuan, of That's course, right. with a little bit of vinegar. Mmm. -hmm. Okay, this longanisa. That's the longanisa I was eating when I was uh, still small, uh, <laughs> 20 years ago. Oh, wow. <laughs> you, so I could get taller and taller every day. years ago. So, uh. <laughs> Sarap puno lang, Ganisa. It's a little bit sweet, pero meron din siyang kick to it. Yung pagkaalat niya, it goes well, very, very much together. Sarap niya with the sweetness. It has to blend with everything on the plate. Yes. Uh, they should not fight. But they should uh, potentiate each other. They should not compete to each other. And I could just imagine it with a nice big spoonful of rice and of course the egg. Oh my, that's such that's a heavenly right. breakfast right And there. this is huevos a la flamenco. Mm -hmm. My father is Spanish. My mother is Kapampangan. She okay. is Juanita. No? Ah. We grew up with chorizo de Bilbao. Okay. And uh, this has a lot of sauce, no? In which you have to eat it with bread. You just dip the bread while eating and it is, everything actually is a meal by itself. Okay. Not only breakfast, we only call it breakfast, but you can eat it any time of the day. Yes, exactly. Just looking uh, at it, I do feel na at any time that you could eat it. But this one right here, parang, what makes it breakfast for me is that there's an egg on top of it. There is an egg on top of it and uh, a lot of chorizo and oh. ham and bacon. Wow. And it even has asparagus to uh, dilute the taste. Wow. The very rich taste. Okay, sorry, uh, I just can't help myself because you said yes, a lot of, of a lot of my favorites from chorizo to ham to Yeah, you get the chorizo. Yeah. That is ham that you're getting. That's ham. Okay, let's uh, look for the chorizo. Let's look for the chorizo. And because and the, the, there's egg pa. Wow. Yeah. This is so heavy. There is the chorizo. There found it. Yeah. And then this and one. You can dip it on the egg. This one, Doc, you usually have this for breakfast or any time of the day. Paano any time of the day, it can be served. Do you have memories of your mother serving this to you, Paul? <laughs> when I was small, 15 mm -hmm. years ago. Mm. <laughs> Parang 10 years ago, she lang, Doc. It, but it's 15 years ago. <laughs> this is the Hainanese chicken. It has a very long story. Mm -hmm. No, It took me several years or several attempts to get this quality of chicken. And it is approved by by my friends, who are my number one critics. <laughs> no, uh, you're going to eat it. It is all piya. Wow, <laughs> parang uh, sirang sirang diet show. ko. But yeah, before we go to the Hainanese chicken, I have to say that this one is the first time for me to taste such a dish. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't think that those things again would go together, like from the chorizo to the ham to the egg and to the sauces. They all blend together really well in your mouth and it really makes you want to go out for a run because you feel like after and parang wow. Kaya, yeah. come over. <laughs> uh, it will energize you it. for your day. We bake our own bread also. Oh, okay. So it's no. guaranteed fresh. Uh -huh. And then like you said about the Hainanese ch chicken dog, why did it take you years to perfect that recipe? Because I have to like what I eat, yes. what I prepare. No? And uh, yung, my taste is a little bit complicated. Mm -hmm. no? I always want to taste something different. Being the Kapampangan and the Spanish in yes. me, no? uh, I develop that taste. Uh, that it has to be good, malinamnam, just right. Mm -hmm. The sourness, the sweetness, the saltiness. Uh, if it is uh, spicy, it has just to be right. No? 
Oh. That's the thing. Opo, parang so, sobrang perfect blend of all those um, elements that you mentioned, all the dishes that I have tasted so far. And of course, one favorite, pancakes with sausages. Can you tell me about this one naman, to? The sausage is the only one that we don't do. Okay. We source it from somewhere else. If you want to know where, I will tell you. There is no secret in my restaurant. Okay. We will tell you. No? Uh, the pancake is very light, very airy. No? Uh, with uh, buttercream okay. the, that, it does, that is uh, in it. You can even ask for chocolate ganache. Wow. Uh, to, to do it, no? And as I said, it's complete by itself. You can ask uh, suka with the sili to <laughs> dip the, the, the frankfurter. Okay. No? And uh, the salad is there. We also make the uh, our own uh, salad dressing okay. that is sweetish, uh, basta masarap. Yeah, just looking at the pancakes, they do look so fluffy. And then the contrast with the sausage that's so big, it looks so appetizing. You but describe it perfectly. <laughs> that is how I wanted to say it. Because that's how I love so much the pancakes and sausages. Of course, let's talk about also you have open face sandwiches. What kinds of varieties do you have? Uh, we have the tuna, the chicken, the egg. Mm -hmm. No, uh, Actually, this sandwich, I used to go to shape uh, where I, I used to work out 15 years ago I, again. <laughs> no, I, uh, I handled their health bar at the shape oh, center okay. in uh, uh, Ultra. Uh -huh. no? And I developed this open face sandwich, uh, which should be very healthy for the people who are working out. And this is it. It's still surviving up to now. <laughs> it's very good. Yes, just looking at it, Shabra, with the cheese, all everything oozing yes, out. Yes. And this one right This here. one is our crispy spring roll. This is actually a Cafe Juanita. Uh, uh, staple, it's a classic staple, there, yes. Yes, no? That you can order here, no? One thing good with this place is you can order Thing, uh, food from Juanita mm -hmm. if the cook is available no and also the Japanese restaurant mm -hmm. which is Haru you can order sashimi sushi wow. at uh, any time of the day here because this is where everything mix uh -huh. uh, Cafe Juanita and Haru have their own identity yes. they don't want to be bothered <laughs> it is here that you can order all of these things Wow, and of course, that's always welcome for those of you who want to start your day right. Thank you so much, Dr. Efren Vasquez, for sharing it with me this morning. It's so nice to have you, Pia. <laughs> Thank you so Anytime. much. Anytime. There you have it. For those of you who want a little bit of everything from Cafe Juanita to Haru and all their breakfast offerings, you know where to go just here at Breakfast at Juanita.